there are events which cannot leave you indifferent, and the one that we discovered starting in Toulon is among them. This event has something special in its DNA, a unique character. A character will try to understand with a simple objective, becoming a real bike rider. And to learn all about the Moto Tour, we needed a guide, a godfather if you like, an expert in bike competition, a certain Dominique Saron. The Moto Tour is a one-week-long competition, competition with liaisons a bit like in Monte Carlo. There are time specials and there are also challenges on circuits like at Issoire this year in the Auvergne. 3,000 kilometers in total, a tough challenge and to be up to it next year he gave us the roadbook of the Moto Tour with advice. Every day, like us, you'll get to know a little bit better how to prepare for the event. And for an amuse-bouche, the Moto Tour riders have three time specials to take on. Direction, the countryside behind Toulon, near Montferron. There's plenty to make you worried in this special, which we followed. We're on the route to Mazogue. Breathtaking scenery, though it's not sure the riders get a chance to admire it. Five kilometers in total where the competitors test themselves out and warm up in between hairpins and quick sections. The victory contenders are already sizing each other up. Lionel Richier took the honors on a first day that seduced everybody. Beautiful liaisons and superb specials, it's really very agreeable. I went straight on in one of the specials. I got on the brakes too late. We've only covered 5% of the route. Yeah, that's true. It was just an amused bouche. I may act as a warning for what's to follow. Indeed, the rest of the event looks really tough. It's time for us to uncover the main advice you need to ride. The road book. It's not easy to follow while riding, you need to cut it up page by page, roll it into something manageable. People improvise, others find it easier to use a tablet. Inside, the road book is there for the whole week. I can choose the road book I want. For example, here I'm going to select Sunday with the number of kilometers to be covered in the day and it will automatically load up the road book. Time passes quickly in Toulon, night falls and it's time for the marathon stage. 900 kilometers to cover, 17 hours of riding, the hardest stage on the Moto Tour. We might as well tell you straight away, the marathon stage demands special preparation as the start is taken at night, and everyone has a secret to keep going. C'est le secret pour réussir une étape marathon, le riz au curry. Yeah, curry and rice isn't bad. Last year we had pasta with chorizo, it wasn't very good. We've got friends all along the road to help us out too. We're never really out there on our own. You shouldn't go off on your own. You need to go out in a group. We take on fuel after 180 kilometers. If we feel tired, then we'll stop a bit to rest. Otherwise we carry on. So there you have it, the first bike goes off at around 8 in the evening heading for Bulzac. The road is long and you mustn't fall asleep. It's not an easy route to follow and we came across several riders in the middle of nowhere. We were attacked by dogs. You can ask the others about that. I have a guide, my son, I follow him. That's the most simple thing to do. And that's not a bad idea when it comes to following the roadbook at night. 
We tried to follow, but the truth be told, we were already very tired. And we need to talk more about fatigue because with 10 hours riding in the arms, it's easy to get mixed up when it comes to navigation. Petit café pour grosse étape. Petit café pour finir cette grosse étape, ouais. Ça va pas être facile. Yeah, it's a small euh, coffee to finish off the stage. It's not easy, étape, but we will get to the end. On this stage, there are 500 things to follow. Voilà, donc, and to read them all euh, at night euh, in the fog is very difficult. Brouillard, euh, humide, hein, sur la visière, you have to keep wiping it down. C'est compliqué, il faut essuyer, il faut mâcher. Donc on s'est relayé un peu toute la nuit. À 10 heures, les assistants, the morning, the assistants area has red wine and sausage. Il y a une grosse préparation chez vous. Attention, ça fait ça dans les règles de l'art. Hein. Oui, encore ça In short, it's almost like a holiday camp in the middle of the event as the kilometers go by in the Aviron countryside. Sometimes too quickly, actually. Some riders forget to stop at the control points. I didn't see the control, I don't know why. Maybe it's because I didn't sleep. Parce que peut-être je suis parti à 9h30 hier et que j'ai pas dormi. Peut-être ça la raison. And there we are. After 17 hours of riding, we arrive on the outskirts of Perigueux and the last few turns to be negotiated before arriving at Boulezac, the second stage down of the Moto Tour. La nuit était très compliquée. The night was difficult très dur la nuit. and a bit of nightmare. Là, they organized things well euh, though. Bien fait les In five moto tours, I've never seen anything like it. Already the third day on the bike and time for us to uncover another factor, the choice of bike. Alors, que so, which one to choose for the Moto Tour? For the Moto Tour, in all cas, what you pour need pour is an MT-10. That's the perfect la bike to win. Euh... C'est euh, en fait si tu veux c'est la R1. It's got the R1's base, engine. Sans les carénages it's quite a sporty gain. bike. C'est euh, c'est un, une moto euh, assez sportive. That said, other riders have made some surprising choices. At BMW, they've got the scooter out, and for a very simple reason. Le scooter sans variateur. Oh, the scooter is great because there are no gears to change and it's less tiring. Tout se passe automatiquement et effectivement c'est beaucoup moins fatigant. Alors il y a quand même d'autres engins. There are other models on the Moto Tour. Vous êtes sérieux, vous faites Now une moto tour en sidecar Vous êtes sérieux, vous Oui, oui, c'est euh, yes. un plaisir. There's pleasure here, as opposed to being on the bike, which is a solitary pleasure, but a pleasure nevertheless. This is a team sport, and you get results from cohesion with a sidecar. And the little monkey must get it in the head, we ask. Now, frankly, it's just a question of getting used to it. You need to be in the right position, and I really enjoy it. Everyone's already away again, and we'll join them on the road for a pretty difficult exercise, the regularity section. The difficulty is that the riders don't know how long the section is. They'll only know when they get out of the timed section. Between the start and the finish will take an average of 55 kilometers per hour. If you're close to that, you're not penalized. If you are far away, then you will be penalized. Celui qui est proche n'est pas pénalisé. Celui qui s'en écarte, en plus ou en moins, est pénalisé lui aussi. To not be penalized, every rider has their own kit. I've just a small bike counter and my road book and we'll try not to get lost in the special. Everyone The average to respect is 55 kilometers per hour, and that's really not easy, as there are two time sections on the day. 
It's quick enough and there's no respite on the Moto Tour. The bodies are beginning to suffer. People calculate, ask questions of themselves, and not all are convinced they've ridden at a consistent speed. On the first special, I took a detour, but I made up for that and got back on track. I'm pretty happy with the second special day. The rest is well deserved. It will be short though, as the bikes head to the Parc Assistance for some tweaks. The riders already have their heads on the following day's specials. The Moto Tour takes in unique scenery. This is incredible by the Puy en Velay. We'll be able to admire them later. For now, we'll offer our third bit of advice. The team, riding solo or as a pair, you have the choice. The Inel Richier is riding alone, but is still well supported. I'm with my wife and she follows me with a lorry and provides assistance. They look after my food and the refueling. It's a light structure. The mechanical stuff I do myself in the evening. I'm here to win, to get a good result. I'm not here as a tourist. For the new duo formula, things are a little different, and the aim is to enjoy oneself. Andrea and Gregory's main asset is their complementarity. I really look after the trajectory and the riding. Andrea has another role. Andrea a un second rôle derrière. Euh... Moi je fais le je fais le poids donc euh, pour euh, pencher yeah, dans, les, dans les virages comme le back. sac hein, mais euh, du coup je mets du poids. I go into the et corners du coup, je, at an angle voilà, je mets de l'angle pour, order to tilt the pour bike. la moto correctement dans le virage qu'on prenne les bons angles. And you'll have plenty of time to do it. It's 500 km of liaison is on the cards from Boulazac through the Contel and they have to be seen to be believed scenery. We feel free handlebars in hands and the bike feels lighter. We're growing wings, but soon we have to come back down from our cloud. The La Boussolois forest is still trembling. That just gives you an idea of the riding level. They're fast, sometimes too fast. At the end of the day, heading to puy en there are a few abandonments, but nothing too serious for the rest of our adventure, which is becoming more physical all the time. I'm a bit tired, really tired. <laughs> They said 500 kilometers and I'm feeling them. It was really tiring. We need to rest. We need to get our strength back for the circuit. Indeed, they have to get up early for the circuit at Issoire, and that leads us to our fourth bit of advice, the physique. Are there special physical preparations for doing the Moto Tour? Yes, you have to be prepared physically. I swim and cycle, go to the gym. You have to be able to deal with 3,000 kilometers and a week of racing. The most important factors are what you eat and getting enough sleep. Whenever you can sleep, you have to have a siesta. You need to keep well hydrated, and that's the real secret to finishing the moto tour. You must eat lightly. No time to lose, and we give it a bash in our own style. The weather conditions are really tough at Issoire. It's very cold, close to zero degrees. You need to cover up and also prepare the bike for the track. The tyres suffer too. Changes in grip, they're now used. It's not easy to find the right tyres to do the whole moto tour. Unfortunately, there are no perfect tyres for the moto tour. The difficulty with the moto tour is that the conditions change a lot. We've got a lot of road riding and specials, and also circuit time. 
So, the best compromise is the Conti Sports attack. That's perfect for the track and the specials. And at speed, it lets you get away with a lot. That said, the riders cannot afford to slip up at Issoire. Two types of riding, a sort of sprint to get warmed up and then some endurance, a tiring prospect with 40 laps to be covered. Once again Lionel Richier shines. The objective above all is to enjoy it and bring the bike home safely as there's still much to be done. Back to the Puy en Valais and the last bit here for this year's Moto Tour. A chance to get some news from our riders after this day of speed. I wanted to follow the two leading riders and I messed up the braking point and so went straight on into the gravel. I was a bit afraid, but I've motocross experience, so experience. I avoided falling by not very much. Nowadays I'm not into competition anymore and this is the week's holiday for me for the year. The atmosphere is really great and it's all going really well for me. It's time now to get the force back at the bivouac. A hot meal will help and then a short night's sleep and as you'll see it's sometimes difficult to wake up. I think you like me, you'd have happily have had two hours extra sleep, we asked. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Especially with the cold of yesterday, followed by a hot night. Yes, that would have been better. But we need to get going again, as there are a lot of kilometres to be covered before reaching Nice. We'll eat something and have a coffee and away we'll go again. Maybe we forgot to tell you, it's 6.30 in the morning and in a few hours we'll be in Nice. Just like the scenery of the Moto Tour, we're feeling a little misty. The corners come in quick succession for another regularity day. Calculations are required again and it's about battling fatigue. It's a marathon day with more than 700 kilometers to be covered in order to arrive at night for a different promenade, the Promenade des Anglais. What better than the Côte d'Azur for the last day of the adventure? There's very little time left and we need to finish our training. The final tip is to get into the spirit of the Moto Tour. Oh, the spirit of the Moto Tour is to get together to share the passion. From expert level to amateurs or simply a rider who goes to work on his bike. Everyone comes here as they are. They want to get together to take on this really tricky and legendary event, one in which you need to surpass yourself. Above all, it's about sharing an adventure with all the riders. We're together for an entire week and when we leave, there's a lot of emotion and memories. The spirit of the Moto Tour is spending a week with your friends. There's no distinction between amateurs and professionals as we all come together. That really sums it up. This big family will soon be separating. So in the sunshine near Nice there's no time to waste when it comes to feeling the thrills of a tough day.
the riders still standing are about to take on the toughest specials of the entire event. Hairpins, lots of braking, the bikes are stretched to the limit in the Valberg. And they have to take on another legendary giant, the Turini. One more effort before the ultimate objective, to finish. Oh, it's always good to finish with the bike and the rider intact. I admit I'm very tired. It wasn't my first moto tour, fortunately. The route was really tiring, and at the end of it all, there's just happiness. I'm happy that it's over, but it's really annoying too, because we're all going to leave. It was a beautiful adventure, and I don't know what I want anymore, I just want to sleep. What's the first thing you're going to do when you get home? Uh, oh, I'll give a big kiss to my wife and daughter. You're not going to sleep first? No, I'm going to kiss my wife first. I miss her. The adventure is over and concludes gloriously for Lionel Richier, greeted by Christian Estrosi. He won everything and added a new line to his honours board, the Moto Tour 2016. Voilà, le Moto Tour 2016, c'est fini. Quant à moi, je sais comment devenir. So that's the end of the Moto Tour 2016. 2016. Et j'ai la moto. And we'll be back in 2017.